what is up fam welcome back to lazy jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac sign we're gonna do let's do a love reading for you because i hadn't done a love reading for y'all in a minute you know let's just do a check-in see what's going on with your love energy okay what's going on with scorpio's love life spirit that i just did one reading that reading was so confusing but i'm gonna i'm gonna post it because spirit wanted me to do the message i don't know who needed to relate to that but it was confusing all right, what's happening for Scorpio as far as love in the next seven days? What's coming towards Scorpio? Let's do from let's do the uh, from now to the end of March. What's happening with Scorpio from now until the end of March as far as love relationships? Well, you got somebody stalking you, trying to get information on you. That's for sure with this Page of Swords energy. Someone's looking at you. The Hierophant is at the bottom of the deck. And the Ace of Pentacles, this is someone that wants a new beginning with you here, that wants to build a stable connection with you here. What's at the top? Three of Cups. Three of Swords. Oh, Knight of Wands. Okay, who the... F this is why I don't like doing love readings, because every time I do it, this, this energy comes out. This is someone who you were in a connection with that put you in a third-party situation. They are watching you. They're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you here. Some of you are finding out that you're actually in a third party connection because we got three of cups, three of swords, and the knight of wands energy here. Knight of wands is player. Three of swords and three of cups, that's too many people. And in a two person connection, that's too many people. But whoever this is, they're watching. Okay, what's coming towards Scorpio from now to the end of March? Coming towards Scorpio from now to the end of March. Ten of Pentacles. Well, your money's looking good. <laughs> Maybe that's why this person's watching you because your money looking good. Eight of Cups, bottom of the deck. You don't walk away from this person, or this person walked away from you. They abandoned the connection here. The High Priestess, the Two of Pentacles, and the Lovers. You, if whoever this person is, you know that they have another option. Your intuition is telling you that they have an, a, another option, or that they're uh, balancing you. Or um, you balancing you and another person back and forth here. This person's indecisive. They don't know what they want. The emperor, their ego is just huge. They could be just, you know, coming back and forth just for a stroke of ego. Just to make them feel good about themselves. Like this person seems like the type of person that needs, yeah, queen of wands energy, third party energy. The other woman. Six of pentacles. See, it's... The Temperance card, there and Queen of Cups. See, it's, it, you got a Queen of Wands and Queen of Cups here, and your your energy is the Queen of Cups. This person, whoever this is, they just they they're they're um they're the type of person they they don't seem like they would settle down anyway. But I see them watching you. Okay, they're watching you. They're watching your abundance grow, your money grow, your finances getting um, on point here. They see you building like generational wealth, like breaking. Breaking generational curses here. I don't know why I'm getting all of that. Okay, tell me more. What's coming in for Scorpio from now to the end of March? This person is looking disappointed, though, because I feel like they're looking at it like, damn, I could have had all of that with Scorpio. I could have had that with Scorpio, and I messed it up. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Look, because you're very loving, caring, giving type of energy here. The world card, bottom of the deck. You've closed the cycle. Yeah, ten of swords. You've closed the cycle with someone, and so you're focusing more on yourself. You're nurturing yourself. You're loving on yourself. You're focused on your money, your finances. Yep, ten of cups. Look, you're focused on your happiness, your wish fulfillment. This person sitting here watching all of this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. But this person is sitting here watching all of this. Watching you, I mean, bossing up. It's like the moment you close this cycle, things started to boss up for you. Things started to shift in your life. And look at this person. I mean, it's a little kid on the card. But look how look how they're looking behind. They're supposed to be paying attention to the little kite they up there flying, right? They want to be free, right? They want to be free-spirited. They want to fly with the birds. So shouldn't you be up there watching that instead of worried about what's going on over here? <laughs> okay. So that's what they're doing. While they, while they over there being free as a bird, they still focus on you. What's coming towards Scorpio from now until the end of March? What's coming from Scorpio from now until the end of March? As far as love, 
the justice card somebody some of you are going through a divorce a separation but for others of you this is your karma coming in okay this is your karma coming in your karma has a lot to do with your finances your abundance your stability in your life here okay not having to struggle not having to feel like you need someone to be successful okay it's like the scales are balancing now here for you page of pentacles on the bottom of the deck oh some of y'all about to meet y'all soulmate two of cups or twin flame some of y'all about to meet y'all soulmate what's coming in for Scorpio from now to the end of De uh, March I almost said December so some of y'all might be missing uh, meeting this person by December what's going to happen for Scorpio from now to the end of March what's going to happen for Scorpio from now to the end of March we got the six of wands the queen of swords the six of pentacles coming in reverse so yeah you not cut somebody off you up here being successful. <laughs> Six of Cups, bottom of the day. There's still memories from the past with this person or with someone here. But let me tell you something. They got what they deserve. Some of you are like newly divorced. If you're going through like a divorce, I see it being very successful. And I see you actually, um, you being successful, but somebody else isn't going to be. So the other person isn't going to be too happy. But I also see you kind of cutting off um, this connection or this situation here that you once looked at as victorious and as successful and kind of like taking your energy back. Like, I feel like you've taken back your energy from this connection, from this person. Yeah, do you still think about them? Yes, absolutely, you still think about them. I feel like there may still be like, some of you, you still dream about this person or there's still memories, but you knew they were a fucking player. Look, you got King of Wands, Knight of Wands. And four of pentacles. You know this per this you know this person is very in and out. Very off and on. They may come off as the king of wands. Oh, I'm mature. I want this connection. Yada yada yada. But look how free spirited this king of wands is. And then this person over here in the damn desert, where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? Right? So you still think about that. You're, you're thinking about this person. And then there's the ace of wands. This person could have like a sex, a sex addiction or something. Like they, community pain, vagina pain, whatever. I mean, vagina, community, I don't know. Yeah, you're you're healing from this. You're, you've are you taken your energy back from this situation. You no longer want to invest in it. You no longer want this person to have your energy. You're focusing on your money, Ace of Pentacles. You're focusing on your money and your growth. What else is coming in for Scorpio from now to the end of March? So I see you, see you focusing on you, doing you. And leaving this person out of your life. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. You're moving on. You're building something here financially for yourself. Building yourself back up here. Seven of Pentacles. Looking at what's worth investing in and what's not. I see you growing your money. Growing your finances. Growing your stability here. It's coming in for Scorpio from now to the end of March. What's going on for Scorpio from now to the end of March? The World card. Yeah, this is a new beginning here for you. I feel like it's taking you a while to get here. Ace of Wands. Brand new beginning. Yeah, passionate, fiery, new beginning here. There's the Three of Cups card. Some of you are just letting loose. You're finally letting your hair down. Yeah, Six of Swords energy. You're breaking free. Like you're celebrating. Some of you will be celebrating like a divorce. Others of you are just going to be celebrating that you're finally done with this. Like I feel like this healing process or getting over this here has taken some time. But yeah, this person, whoever this was, they play. I feel like they played a lot of games with you. They were like the type of person that wanted to be single and independent all the time. Because we have the high priestess, the two of wands, right? You waited. Waited for this person to make a move. Waited for this person to make a decision. Two of pentacles, they kept juggling, kept playing, kept going back and forth. The lovers, they kept having two different choices. The star card, there was hope. And, and things like that. There was hope there, but at the end, this Nine of Pentacles is singleness. Wanting to be single. Not wanting commitment. Not wanting to be tied to anyone. Just focusing on yourself. And I feel like that's what you decided to do. You decided to focus on yourself and yourself only. A lot of you are like diving into your passion projects here. Growing something financially for yourself. You could be having like a, a friends with benefit uh, connection here as well with this ace of wands just like you know having fun three of cups is about like having fun celebrating so I, I feel like you may not be taking nothing too serious right now besides your money okay but you may just be kind of like 
some of you, I'm just going to say, you about to get laid. And it's going to be fun. Like, you know, having a hookup, you know. We got the forgiving and learning card. As you release, release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So you're letting go of the past. You're moving on. You're forgiving this person, okay? You're like, okay, they a piece of shite. They always going to be a piece of shite. And it is what it is, okay? I'm not going to worry about them no more. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to let that piece of shite go over there to the left. And I'm going to stay over here to the right. We have the make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So you're loving on yourself, right? You're pouring this love back into yourself here with this queen of pentacles energy. Because in the relationship, you could have been the one that was always giving, 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 right? And this person wasn't returning anything. And is they were just depleting you. And so with this justice card coming in, the justice card is basically saying, okay, Scorpio, you've given way too much. Now it's time for you to get back what you've been giving out. In order for that to happen, we got to get this little loser out of your energy, okay? Uh, now, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So whoever this Ace of Wands energy, new beginning that's coming in here for you, you may start off as a friends with benefits, okay? You may. But it has the potential, the passion, the fire, okay, to grow into something bigger than just friends. All right, what other messages do you have as far as love for Scorpio from now until the end of March? What other messages do you want Scorpio to know? So I see you letting go of this past person, finally cutting them off, finally becoming cold, you know, giving them the, the, the cutoff. We have look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. And that's that card there. So again, I feel like a lot of you are focusing back on yourself instead of putting your time and energy into this, this uh, person. They just said monstrosity. What? Monstrosity of a person, okay? Whoever this is, they just don't have their ish together. They, they're they just a player. They're very in and out. This could have been someone that you were very on and on and off again with here. Okay, they couldn't commit if they if their life depended on it type of energy. All right? They're, they're just a player and will continue to be a player. We also have this card. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. But I don't feel like this is you talking about another person. This is more of you right? You transforming, you growing, you evolving. I feel like you're telling yourself like, because it was that King of Wands, Knight of Wands. And it's like, maybe this person was coming off as I've matured, I've grown, I'm more mature than that. But really, they were still that Knight of Wands energy. They were just trying to appeal as the King of Wands. Yeah, they might have matured on the outside, but they really didn't mature mentally and physically. Okay. All right, so forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your rea reality by what you think, dream, and imagine, okay? So you're letting go. You're forgiving this person, okay? I forgive you for whatever you're going through, but you're not going to keep hurting me, boo. Okay, so bye, deuces. You go over there. I go over here. And then we have this card. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So again, you're kind of going with the flow. You're letting it go. Okay, this person wants to be a player pimp, whatever they call themselves doing. You're like, you know what? I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to forgive this. I'm going to learn from it. And I'm going to move forward. And then wherever spirit takes me is where I'm going to go. Okay? I'm not, I'm not going to force anything. I'm just going to pour into me. And because you're doing that, that's what's actually going to bring this new love towards you. Okay? So just so you know on that, Scorpio. But I'm going to leave this here. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.